All right, welcome back to part two of my water coloring with the Arteza Woodless Watercolor Pencils. Be good, guys. Uh, in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Um, if you remember, we were doing the three bouquets. Um, I've already done this on camera with you guys. Super fun. Remember, I had talked about what I wanted to do. I'd already planned them out. So let's go on and do the middle one, which is the peachy flower. And then uh, yellow flowers. This one will be strawberry-esque because it has that cute little thing. And then we're going to do a teal background pan pastels. So let me, I'm going to pull you guys down just a little bit and then zoom from there as needed. So I'm going to do this one just like I did in, oh, in Summer Nights. Um, let's see if I can find, it has to be that one. There we go. Just like this. This is, this is the peachy flower I'm going for. They're not able to come out and play. Um, they're cleaning. They'll come get us. Okay. Has Zoe come out yet? Nope. So they're cleaning. Okay. You guys go play on the bounce on trampoline. So for the other one, I had used peach, what they called peach and magenta, and then I think I had used maybe just the red, or the brick red. I'd used the brick red and the peach and the magenta. So what does that equal to? Chili red, rose. An apricot. So rose. Chili red. Apricot. And then I know I had used. I probably should have wrote this down when I did it, but I didn't. So you know. What else did I use? Well, that was about it. Oh, I used a yellow. Probably the lemon yellow. Used a yellow. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to do the rose, the chili red, apricot, and lemon yellow. Right? Yes, that's what I did. Two of these still need sharpened. I'm probably going to try to sharpen that rose. So bear with me here. I hope everybody has had a good time since the last time I recorded for this show or this video or this series or whatever you want to call it. Um, I got a ton of excellent response back um, for this. So I'm going to, when the kids go back to school, I'm going to do this a little more frequently. Try to do two, maybe three um, recordings a week on top of the live streams, which means the live streams will probably go shorter. Yes, pumpkin? Can we get our tablet? Yes, pumpkin. So... You can go upstairs. All right. So, but the, I got a ton of really great response, and I also had a lot of people say what they wanted to see do. So I had some people: Maria Troll Books, Momo Girls, Elm Just Nova, Any Kirby Book, World of Flowers When It Comes Out, Misfits. So if you have like something, either a medium you want to see me do, or a book you want to see me work in let me know and I'll see what I can what I can do for you I can't guarantee but I will definitely try so just leave that in the comments down below 
And as always, links to everything I'm using are in the description, so don't forget to grab that if you need to. And right now we're just going to work pretty far away for just a little bit. Um, I have really ruined my fingernails on my right hand. I'm peeling the caulking off my bathroom and it's not fun but you know so I'm gonna go in with the rows and I'm just going in and kind of doing what I did in the last the last one I'm hoping this isn't quite so shaky for you guys I have moved where my um, camera sets so it's not actually on my table which is you know you go and you do that and it shakes it is actually connected to something off my table which is why it's a little bit of a more awkward um, setup right now so we're just gonna go on and oh that is way too much water activate that just drag it up. That was way too much water, Melissa. Shame on you. I know better. I want to thank you to all the subscribers, everybody who comments, or even just watches and hits the thumbs up. Thank you so much. It means a lot. It really does. May not seem like it, but it does. It just lets me know that somebody's watching. And I'm not just, you know, yelling out to the void, which it can feel like sometimes. Eventually, I am going to figure out a way to edit my videos. So even if I keep it real time, which I really, I really prefer real time videos. And a lot of you have said that to me as well. Um, so that is going to be my, my goal to make sure they stay real time. But if I go quiet or I don't have anything to really talk about, I'll try to edit it so I can put a little music in the background in the quiet spots. Um, just so it's not, doesn't feel so empty, you know. Because normally I listen to music, but I can't do that. Uh, because then I get hit with copyright. And they tell me to take it down. Like that. I just want to listen to some music. Now, a couple of you said you were going to follow along. Um, if you want to share your picture with me, feel free to um, join my Facebook group. It is linked in the description down below. Uh, there are some questions now where there weren't before because there, there are a couple people who are not native English speakers. And um, I can't always tell if the foreign groups... Or the foreign language groups are coloring groups or not so I at least try to make sure whoever's joining has some sort of coloring group already joined um, just to to mitigate the troll population or the spam population I should say it's mostly what it is on Facebook, a spam that you have to watch out for. I 
and one person tried to join it was so obviously a spam account like the only thing it didn't scream was the word spam like everything else it was you know make money quick and work from home and you know all those if you're in the US um, it's pretty familiar to you I don't know how much spam people outside the US get I don't know how that works actually so that's the rose in there and while this dries I'm gonna go down and do the yellow on the others so I'm just gonna take that uh, lemon yellow and do these two well the rose up here dries because it I did use a bit too much water um, so it's still fairly wet and it's actually bubbled a bit more than anything I did down here in the blues did so this I'm I really just want I just want it yellow I'm not gonna fade or do anything funky like that I just I want a solid yellow I will come in I have put oh my gosh one second oh, sorry that cat I swear to God I've done everything to keep that cat out of my sink and out of other stuff I've already had to put the butter dish up because she was licking out of the butter dish I mean come on it's not like she doesn't get fed. There's two full bowls of dry food and they get half a can of wet food in the morning. Like, the cat eats. She's not starving. I've even put double-sided sticky tape on my counter to mitigate it. Oh no, she jumps right around it. I swear to God. I don't know what else to do with that cat. Like, I'm not really mad like in the butter dish I mean it's covered it's got the it's it's the dish but then it's got like the heavy ceramic lid on top like that took some dedication to figure out she could lick the butter dish she's lucky I don't send her back you're gonna be a fat cat that's what you're gonna be you're gonna be this fat old cat you hear me miss marvel now she's just sitting in front of me like what you're talking to me what does it mean when a cat is food obsessed like that and not just cat food obsessed like human food obsessed we don't feed her like we've never fed her a single table scrap in her entire six months and in the whole like three or four months we've had her she's never had a single table scrap so I don't even know where it comes from alright so that one's done this one I'm going to do a little lighter just because it's a different flower I think every flower should be different. We are all unique. I'm mad at you. And you know it too, don't you? You just don't care. We're just over a week before the kids go to school. I'm so excited. I have to go get them back to school outfits. First day of school outfits, I should say. I don't want to put them in anything like fancy fancy, but something nice, you know? There. All right, so that should be done. I'm gonna zoom in. 
I might actually have to push this up just a little bit. There we go. All right, so now I'm gonna take the apricot. Are you back behind my chair? Can I move? I can move. So I'm gonna take the apricot and we're just gonna start going in the, uh, the darker areas. And you do it light enough and it gives like a peachy look to it. go on and just do it all while I've got the pencil in my hand. I'm not being very precise. That's not the point. The point is just to get some of that color down and to start Turn it just a tad peachy. I think I did this on accident, like I was just trying to darken up the centers, and it ended up looking pretty cool. So, you're not getting any love from me. No, I don't even want you on my desk. I'm mad at you. Now there's not a single cat hair on any of the double sided tape anywhere which tells me she has avoided every single bit of it and I am so mad. I'm about ready to put rat traps up. Big thick tape sticky things. See if that helps. I mean I can't avoid her going on the counters. I understand that's going to happen. It's her getting into every lick of food that's up there, whether or not it's actually accessible. Like the butter dish. That wasn't accessible. She had to force her way into it. I was catching her trying to open up the croissant box. She needs to not be so food centric. I did find a neat little meal planning app. Um, I know I've been lamenting meal planning a couple live streams and probably even the last video if I know me. It's been terrible, like trying to figure out what the kids will eat, what I want to eat. My husband likes to try new things, so trying to get him something. Um, so I found this app. Um, what is it called? E-meals? Yeah, emails. And so I just go through and, and pick some recipes and then I can add it to a shopping list. It's not lit up, but you can add it to a shopping list and it'll put all the ingredients in a shopping list for you. And then I went through and just did my shopping list. Um, I saved the produce and some stuff that maybe I can't really get um, for later, but and then you just go through and you go shopping um, Which is cool All right, so that's drying I'm going to take the orange now For these yellow ones Well, that's drying and just do Let's see how this is gonna work first before I go nuts so with it Not too bad. Needs more though. 
Needs more. Need more. More. Let's try that. I'm just wiping off the excess. I should get that closer. Wiping off the excess. I really don't want to change the color of the yellow too much. But I do want that added. There we go. I like that. That added orange in the center there. Okay. So then I, yeah, so then I did the emails. And I'm doing like a 14 day free trial because it's like $5 a month. And you have access to paleo, um, meals, vegetarian, vegan, um, kid friendly. There's a whole there's a whole slew of meals that you can choose from, and you can mix and match, which is what I was looking for, because I didn't like. There were some other places I was looking, and it was like. You can only get the meal planning for just the kid friendly, or you can only get the meal planning for just the locale. Or I don't like mixing it up. I don't like to be stagnant, you know. So let's see here. No, you get out of that too. You're in trouble, little kitty. Why can't you be good like your sister, huh? Why can't you be good like Sunny? Oh, now you go suck up to me. She thinks rubbing against me is gonna change anything. It's not. I'm mad at you. No. She wants up in her window seat, and I'm not letting her. She, she thought she would jump up there on her own. So I could go through and do a whole bunch of meals. So I've done that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it works. And I went and had. Um, I'm doing a pickup at my grocery store for the first time. I've never done that. It's kind of like Instacart or something. You order all your groceries online and you go pick it up at the store. I'm so excited. Cause I hate grocery shopping. I really, really hate grocery shopping. So I'm curious how that's all going to work out. I mean, I'm still going to have to go get fresh produce because that's one thing I try not to get ahead of time because it doesn't always work out very well. So, all right, so that's dry now. I'm actually going to come in with the yellow and just very lightly right at the edges here. Right at these edges, there's the lightest, just a little bit. I know you went up here, and I'm saying no. You were in my sink. You were where you were not supposed to be. And so you're in trouble. that nice little yellow edge. I guess just a, a nice little color change. Nice and subtle. So I'm actually going to go back in with the apricot again. Just pile on a little more pigment.
just to darken it up in some spots. Especially these areas that are going to be shadowed. You really want to pile in that pigment. I find this extremely relaxing. Just coming in and working with a little. Kind of want to try the Koei Noir um, woodless watercolor pencils. I know they come they make like 48, but I don't think I want all 48. Like I think I want the 36. Just to because I want a few more colors, but not like too many more. Really all I want is just some more greens because the only greens I can do are the ones that I've already done. And so that's slightly limiting. So, I mean, yeah, I could mix, but like that would look funky, maybe. Maybe. Maybe I will try it. Maybe I should be quiet and try it before I knock it. Right? And that's what I'll do on some of these leaves down here. So I'll try to mix a yellow and blue. My husband, he went to this restaurant for lunch, and it's somewhere he took me out on a date, actually very recently, and he was like, ooh, I want to go back. I'm like, man, I do too. We'll have to do it on our next date night. He goes, no, I can just, you know, slip over there f at lunch and just go have lunch there. And I'm like, I was like, oh yeah, I guess you could, thinking... No, he's not going to do that because I've said I like want to go back too. So he's not going to go without me. You know what I got a text of today? I got a text of a picture of a burger he's eaten at that place that I like. And I said, hey, we should both go back there. I said, you're insensitive. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> like, I hate you right now. It's like, what? It's so good. I said, I know. It's like, I'll take you back there. Thanks. I'm not really upset, but oh, he does it on purpose. I know he does. So there's that. Now, while I let that dry, I'm going to work back over here. I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to take the, the orange. Again, this time it's going to be lighter because this is a lighter yellow, so I don't need the heavy application I did on the other one. This one I may actually like let it change the color a little bit. I'll come back with a little extra of it. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. No. I told you, Cat, you're in trouble. She probably has no idea. She's like, what did I do? So there, we changed the color just a little bit. But now I'm going to go in the little darker orange. And 
do something along those lines. My vet was trying to convince me that cats are stupid and have a very limited memory, right? Because I told her I had accidentally placed the litter in the wrong spot and I wanted to know how to go about moving it, right? And uh, she was like, oh, you can't do that. She was like, cats have, have very little memory. And especially kittens, they can't remember hardly anything. So once you put it somewhere, you have to leave it there. And I'm just like, okay. And I leave, and then I read up how to do it. Um, but with this stuff, with the the getting in the getting in stuff, that cat's got memory. She knows exactly what she's doing every single time. She knows right where to go. You can't tell me cats don't have memory. They don't have a long memory. That's BS. Every day that cat knows right where to go. Alright, so that's that orange. So let's go back this here and I'm actually going to take the chili red now and in those darkest spots I'm going to go in No. She keeps trying. All right. I'm really just going in to, to give some deeper color. That's it. make sure that the kids had picked up their snacks otherwise that cat was going to go for it. Well, see, I like these pencils. Um, I don't know if it's an effect of the pencil or if it's an effect of the paper that it's letting you build up this many layers um, using watercolor. A lot of, a lot of pencils I know that they would have picked all the pigment back up doing it like this, and this isn't. I mean, you could do this with the ink tents too. It would have the same type of effect where it wouldn't move. You just keep layering color on top of it. I'm not entirely happy with the color that this is, so I'm going to work on it some more after I work on this stuff. So... I'm actually going to take the chrome yellow because I don't really have a yellow ochre so I'm going to kind of like make one. So I'm taking the chrome yellow I'm going to put it down. Did I sharpen the tawny? I sure did. Alright. So that's the chrome yellow. A 
those cats are gonna fight. I might have to get up and stop it. Now I'm gonna take the tawny and just kind of pop a little in. Probably should wait for it to dry. Story of my life. Jumped in too quick, should have waited. Oh well. So just go in and with the tawny and that gives you kind of a yellowy ochre color. Since you don't have a yellow ochre in this set, that kind of gives it to you. And then you can go in with say uh, the walnut brown and do some more shadowing, which I will do, just not quite yet. That's not dry yet. Let me sharpen this while I wait for that to dry. There's that. What do I wanna do? I do actually take the orange in here. This may seem weird, but bear with me here. Taking the orange. Just run it up a little bit. I didn't do hardly bupkis. That changed it a little. So if I did it to one, I gotta do it to all. Guess where I found Miss Marvel, guys? Marvel. Trying to get in the cookies and the croissants. Wait, yep. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Say so stop fighting, guys. <laughs> oh, they probably don't understand, honey. What's that orange? it a lot to turn it peachy. Maybe I used an orange. I wish I could go back and remember. Oh well. That, that actually did what I wanted it to do. So now that that's dry, I'm going to take the walnut brown I'm not going to do much to feather out that color. Just kind of want it to sit where it is. I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I don't even 
even know what my kids are doing with those cats. I don't know that I want to know. All right. So I need to do... I'm going to kind of do the same chrome yellow. trying I'm gonna move on to the butterfly moth I'm calling it a moth just because it's got an elongated uh, thorax so I'm calling it a moth the moths are kind of fun they kind of have like some fall colors what is it the owl oh shoot I had a picture of it one time. <gasps> Melissa. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. La, la, no, 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 no. Hmm? Please don't. Oh, I gotta do the black too. This isn't a live stream. It's not where you're gonna yell and be all very loud and people are gonna say stuff to you. Nobody's gonna say anything to you on this, okay? Because I did my live stream yesterday. You did. You came down and said something. But I forgot. I'm sure you did. <sighs> All right. So, but I'm gonna keep this kind of. Where's my tawny? My brown. I'm gonna keep this kind of muted. A little bit of this yellow. Um. Stop. Thank you. A little bit of orange. No, you're not getting anything else to eat. Thank you. So I'm going to take the smoke gray. Holding these like I'm actually going to color them all with a pencil. I'm so silly. And then I'm going to take the black. I want kind of a tawny brown in there, just a little bit. And now I have to let that dry, because I can't, I can't keep going with that. So I'm going to take the tawny, go around here. I'm being pretty sloppy with it. That's not actually going to make that big of a difference. What's nice about these watercolors is you can kind of manipulate it to where you want it to go. So there's that. I do want to keep some nice black antennae and the eyes. For sure. The head, I kind of want a tawny. Oh, I should probably get my smaller brush. I really should. I should get my smaller brush. I have a myriad of brushes to choose from. Oh, and this one's out of water, so I'll pause, be right back. Okay. I don't know what I did to turn this a brilliant shade of red, but man, did I do something. Make sure it's not too wet. Oh, yeah. Having a precision water brush helps. Um, 
So I wanted that a little more tawny. I'll even go in with a darker brown here in a minute after that dries some. So I am going to take that walnut and come up like that. It's a ruddy brown, a red brown. It's pretty neat. That is still too much water. It doesn't feel like a whole lot, but on the tip of this pen, it acts like a whole lot. Okay, so now that that's dry, I'm going to take the walnut brown. And just kind of just go in and add some shadowing. Not looking for a lot of color, just some shadow. Perfect. So, you up there. This may be how I'm gonna have to do this, which is fine. That's just, just fine. Is there another, oh, there is another brown. There's an espresso. That looks kind of nice. And it's a simple, simple moth. Easy, easy, easy. All right, so we'll zoom out just a hair here. The this part, this part. First, let's go on and do our twine. We're just going to go on and assume everything is done with twine, just for a bit of cohesive in the image. So I was going to try to blend a yellow and a blue, but which blue do I want to blend? I want to blend, I think I want to do lemon, lemon yellow and denim blue. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, let's do it on these. 
do it right here. Right now. Here we go. Not, not able. I work with that. I can work with that. Let's see. All right. So let's do a little bit of a bigger area here. So we're taking the lemon yellow and the denim blue right over top of each other light light hand not heavy handed or anything it's kind of a bluey green but it is making a green so that is something How would I shade it then? If I don't have a darker green to go in with. I wonder if I could use the uh, emerald green. I mean, I like it. It's different. At least it's a different green. I think that's the only thing that's currently bugging me is I only have three greens so making my own getting creative Oh, and then there's two more of those down here. I'm just going to go on and do these with this combo. Blue. It's a little on the heavier on the blue side. I'm sure if I put more yellow in, it would have been yellower. Um, but there's some nice variation of color that you don't necessarily get from a solid color. Um, so that's pretty cool. I dig that aspect of it. What color is that? That's aquamarine. So I am going to take the emerald green now. Just try to add some shadow in here. Pretty neat. So obviously making your own colors is definitely an option. Does the aquamarine look like exactly? Oh, so I could add a bit of the grass green into it. I could do that. Ultramarine hence heads a little purple. So that's an idea too. Let's 
see if I mix the grass green and the ultramarine, what do we end up with? I'll laugh if it's the same thing as the yellow and the denim blue. No, it's a little, it's a little yellower. I kind of like that, so that's what we're gonna do. Just because I need some diversity in my greens. So don't worry too much if you go out of the lines. We are going to be putting a violet background with pan pastels. But if you don't do that, that's fine. If you feel like penciling it out, go right ahead. Shoot, you could take 24 colored pencils and do the same thing that we're doing here. You don't have to have watercolor pencils to do it. You can take just regular colored pencils, do the same darn old thing, and have pretty much the same darn old result. All right. So, I kind of want to take ultramarine and then the canary is it canary yellow chrome yellow chrome yellow chrome yellow so I'm going to take the ultramarine and the chrome yellow for the green in the center and then I'll probably mirror the green over here on the other side um, just for some continuity or whatever you want to call it. Just cause, really. So, chrome yellow. Come on down. If I hate this green, I don't know what I'm going to do. Just leave it. Actually, there's not a lot I can do. Let me zoom out just a hair. It's a little too big to be able to see everything. I'm not going too crazy with the blue. I didn't I didn't go crazy with the yellow either, so just because I'm evil like that and I'm going to postpone doing that. I'm going to come and put some espresso. For some shadows. All right. Making a dull green. If 
very muted, muted green. Not entirely in love with it. Probably should have just done the denim blue with this color too. But it's done now. I should have put more color down too. I was going too light. I was too afraid of what it would be instead of just letting it be. I should have put more color down. That would have really helped. Yeah, I should have totally put more color down. Um, I don't know if you can see, right around here is the color, I think it's truest color. And so if I put, oh, it's got to be dry. So if I put some more down, instead of being so stinking afraid, come on, Melissa, just commit. Just do it. What was the worst? You have to come around with like a pencil or something and okay, that tip is terrible. Let's try this again. Ugh, it's still a horrible color. that's actually growing on me okay sorry my kids you know how it goes so I'm gonna just take this chrome yellow just add some more and add some more blue ultramarine Kind of like a earth green from the polychromos, something like that. It's very muted green. And while that is not what I was intentionally going for, I'm okay with it. Don't know till you try. Right? So yeah, not my favorite, but I will deal with it. I'm going to take the tawny. No, I'm not going to take the tawny. Am I going to take the tawny? No, I'm not going to take the tawny. I'm actually going to get, I'm going to get the emerald green. Just kind of, I need some kind of contrasting color here. I need something. Alright, I'm, I'm done messing with that. Okay. No, I'm not. 
so this needs more yellow. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. You're welcome. So I'm just going to go back. And do this. I suppose I could actually just take the ultramarine blue and use it to do shadows like that. But now you're just talking crazy. Just talking crazy. Not my favorite, but that's okay. It's just, I'm just trying. Okay, so I have got my bluebells and my forget-me-nots, my sunflower type, my peachy flower. Next um, will be these strawberry esque, so they'll be nice and red. Um, I might do white gel pen here instead of black seed type thing. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what, what I decide to do. Um, that'll be the next video and then that video I, I'm assuming this will go much quicker because um, this went much quicker than the blue one. So I'm assuming this will go pretty quick and then we'll just do the pan pastel background in the next video so it should just be a, a quick three-parter um nothing too fancy nothing too difficult and hopefully you guys have enjoyed this don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell button to get notifications um links as always are in the description down below and i will see you in the next video bye bye